I think your module is relatively new technology. It's uh, uh, independent from silicon, uh, but uh, silicon-based technology is uh, well proven, have over half a century uh, track record. And uh, another big, big difference is that the crystalline module is more efficient. I think we are le less efficient at this moment. Although the whole industry is trying to improve the efficiency of the Pinkfield module. Another advantage, uh, I mean, the difference, I would say, at this moment is that Thinkium is relatively cheaper. But with the uh, silicon-based module efficiency, it increased year by year. Now the uh, uh, cost difference is smaller and smaller now. So it's a hard time for Thinkium at this moment because the Thinkium uh, still compared to its efficiency, the cost is still relatively high. They are all crystalline based, but uh, monocrystalline uh, take more energy because the, uh, the, it's all we're talking about crystalline. The crystalline uh, for mono is that you have to have a special equipment which is take longer time to produce uh, we call single crystal. This one uh, will cost more time, more energy, means you use more electricity to uh, uh, we call grow the crystal. But for the uh, polished crystalline, nowadays, before, the efficiency is lower than mono. That's the reason, in the beginning, monocrystalline dominate crystalline modules. But now, with the new technology come along, the mod multi, or we call also the multi of polycrystalline, they can also uh, be uh, produced at higher, high efficiency. So now the efficiency between mono and the polycrystalline are very small, less than 1%. So, and then, then the polycrystalline uh, is much faster to produce. So these days, I think, in the market, over 80 or 85 percent of the crystalline model are polycrystalline. Because the cost is cheaper, but almost equivalent efficient. At this moment, um, because the efficiency of uh, thinkium is lower and the cost is relatively lower compared to crystalline module. So at this moment, the crystal, uh, thinkium module are mainly used in large scale, utility scale projects. And another uh, thing that thinkium used uh, or considered by the investor is that for those very hot desert uh, areas or countries, for example, um, New Mexico, yeah, New Mexico, uh, Nevada, Southern Cali uh, Mojave Desert in California, uh, India, and these are the markets where the Simpium uh, has been used a lot and these days. But all in all, um, if you use your rooftop, if you buy land at more expensive, you're always thinking about higher efficiency module. That's crystalline. As of today, still uh, occupy over 85% of the whole global installation. Crystal module has been proven, and uh, we have seen the data for over 50 years of the power degradation of uh, uh, crystalline module, and we know that's very small. So that's the reason why the whole industry has a benchmark. We have 25 years maximum, 80 percent, uh, 20 percent reduction. So maintain about 80 percent up to 25 years. So we are very confident. Thinkium, on the other hand, new technology. It's not proven. I think to the probably the earliest installation, maybe uh, seven years or something around the range. And we have seen some quality problems in different uh, manufacturers. There are some uh, faster degradation. I think this industry has been widely reported to some companies. Uh, but uh, those are, at this moment, I would say, all is uh, predicted, forecasted, not proven data. So that's the, uh, you know, the big difference.
maintenance cars, uh, you know, they are all static. There's, there's no um, moving parts unless you're talking about the, you know, the tracking technology. So the O&M cost is equivalent, but if you have a higher chance a problem on the product, then your O&M immediately increases. So, but at this moment, the photovoltaic system itself has very low 